Espa, Espa, Espa. They are growing on me. Savage reaction. I know I'm late, but let's do it. What's up, friends? It's been a while. And countdown, 17 more days into a BTS concert. I can't wait. Super excited. I'm bringing you guys along. So subscribe, comment, and like some videos because I'm gonna get my first light stick ever. Even if I don't want it, the wifey does. So we're getting some light sticks. It's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be a blast. Hopefully Blackpink would do a concert one day and my dreams would be complete. But if not, I've seen their concert, the show online. I guess that kind of counts. I still want them to come now. Or I'm gonna fly to Korea. Either one, you let me know Blackpink, I'm there. I have to tell you something. Espa's really growing on me. Their dance moves are so sharp. Their confidence level, I put them up there with Itzy. Their energy level, up there with Itzy. Their intensity, up there with Itzy. They are giving Itzy a run for their money. For me, right now, Itzy's still a little bit above, but Espa is slowly climbing up the ranks. They are probably more popular in Korea than here in the Western world. I still like Itzy a little bit more because they can sing English songs, their dancing to me is a little bit better, and they have a little bit more innocence to them as well. Innocence might be the wrong word. I goose the word. They could be a little cutesy and edgy. To me, Espa is like all edge. <laughs> I haven't seen their V lives. If they ha I haven't gotten V lives for a long time. And I'll tell you another thing that's growing on me is their avatars. I'm really liking the avatars. I have another channel. I'll put the link down below. I talk a lot about NFTs, the digital world, metaverse. And I'm really understanding the concept of the avatars now. And who knows, they might be ahead of the trend. In the future, maybe we could put on an Oculus. We can go in there, hang out with the digital Espa. We could talk to them, ask them questions. And then the AI will talk as if it's Karina or Ning Ning or whoever it is. That is like the tip of the iceberg. I'm super excited about avatars now for some reason. And Espa is at the forefront of that. Early days, who knows? Uh, another good news is that Seoul is implementing the metaverse nationwide or government-wide. I know we're getting off topic, but this has to do with, you know, ESPA avatars and that digital world. Uh, um, K slash DA, I call it KDA, but it's supposed to be K slash DA. They are in the metaverse as well, and they rotate different performers, different singers. Can, is that the new wave? Like, is K-pop the old wave and then, you know, Avatar is the new wave? I don't know. I still run a K-pop channel, so we're all in on K-pop. Black Mamba was a good start. Next level, uh, Savage, though. Let me tell you, Savage, they have some really crisp moves. Let's jump into the video. So today's November 10th. I'm about a month and five days late. They already have 115 million views. Kudos to them. Let's turn on the captions. We'll watch this once. I've already seen this video, but not reacted to it. I had it playing in the background. Let's really check out the video. One thing I appreciate about Espa's video is that they put a lot of money into it, it seems. Digitally and also costume outfit wise and also scene changes. Maybe it's not a lot of scenes, but it's big and glamorous. Of course, SM Town, let's do it. Let's go. It's right, right there. Graphics, super intense, super oh big. Gosh. Don't you know I'm a savage? I'm a killer, nor gala. They seem like killers. I don't gotta go on the good catch, no fella. We holla. So Do much confidence. Like each of the members. Need a nutty fake on me. Chumbiga and the mude don't more than a fake on me. Because those Koreans get a little bit better to me. Dancing underrated. I love the stage right here. That eyeball looks digital, but Ning Ning's gotta be my bias. Winter's voice. Oh, I really like that thing she has. Very catchy. Very. It's a lot of things to give me now. No, your money, boy, I'm the up job. I go raise up. Give me, give me now. Give me, give me now. I think I'm funny, my good job. It's very futuristic. Like outfits, you see it in other videos. Young boy, hit me. I'm a day on a suit of day. I'm locked up in the play. 
styling it with the fashion, with the outfits. On. I love the Indians here. Amazing. Different eye colors on Karina. Super nice digital stage. Oh, right there, right there. Yeah. Look that one that's called. I like it. Super attractive. Oh, she punched the bullet. This is like Espa's thing, like the little pause and gives you a breather in song. Look at those avatars. Super cool. Let's pause it real quick. Wow. So that, I can't even tell which one's which. They all have blonde hair. <laughs> which one is Karina? Which one is Ning Ning's? Which one is... Uh, Giselle's, I can't tell. I'm gonna have to get to know the avatars. I think the one in the purple hair is Karina. And then Winter of the Pink. Ning Ning looks like the one over there. And then Giselle look I I mean I can't be I could be completely off. They look similar but nothing alike. <laughs> Who's this? Is that a fifth member? This one. I must be missing the storyline here. And they have the cartoon versions. It's so cool. Okay, that's Karina. That's Winter. Uh, Ning Ning. Right here. Ning Ning. It's like very edgy. The EDM ish type of vibe. With a little bit of rock. And like, I don't know. It's, it's growing on me. They're like really creating their own vertical. Mm -hmm. Both those are Ning Ning and Winter. Okay. I did not even pay attention to any of the looks. <laughs> it's visually just a full meal. A full meal. It's like a buffet. Let's go watch this again. Let me go watch this again. Did they do an Espa Savage with Squid Game costumes? What is that? That looks crazy. Okay, they did it. I'm gonna have to watch this later. Well, I'll get back to you on this one, guys. You stay right there. Let me watch it one more time so I can give it a full reaction and comment. You stay right there. Okay, y'all, I just watched that again, and it is a lot. The, the song represents them really, really well, and I definitely see the interconnectivity of Black Mamba, the snake. Next level, I mean, they're, all, they're getting to the next level, and Savage, I think, represents their attitude perfectly. They're definitely breaking some modes, in my opinion, because I really haven't seen this type of like rock punk, EDM music in the K-pop space yet. Maybe it is out there. I haven't seen it, but for this group to come out as savages, as, as confident as they are, and with the unique dance moves, I, I really like it. I, I don't know what to call it, but I really, really like it. I think at first Black Mamba was just okay to me because I really didn't immerse myself in this type of a genre, and I really didn't know what type of group they're going to be. But as they came out with Next Level and now Savage, of course they did that Christmas song, which, to which feels totally different or and off of, of their brand uh, i didn't like that's my least favorite song this is definitely on par with what their um their community or their culture is so far i would like to see how they're going to evolve maybe be different you know every single time i want to know what their like a summer song would be would a summer song be this hard hitting this um confident uh yeah that's good questions good question if they're anything like red velvet their bigger sisters and sm town they are going to transcend through you know all genre saying a really good i mean their vocals are really really good i dare say could be even better than red velvet even though i haven't heard it yet because they are just focused on this genre uh, i look forward to them growing it's only been 
it hasn't even been a year yet for them, right? Oh my gosh, they're already burning up the tracks. They're number one on Sompi. And and Somi's not even on anywhere in the charts in Sompi. I like XOXO so much, and it's not in the top 10. This is beyond the point, but uh, go vote for Somi. She deserves to win some awards for her album. Well, guys, that's it. I still got to finish my Blackpink Marathon. I still got to open this Butter uh, track or album. I have so many more albums I need to open that's put away. I need to find some time to do that. Don't worry. It's coming slowly, but it's coming surely. So subscribe, follow along. I'm still giving out some albums. I'll probably pick another winner soon, so stay tuned for that one. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.